The Olympic movement is interesting. 20 years ago, it was old school, it was dying. The viewership was 60 year old and over. Uh, the youth weren't connecting. And then early 2000s, triathlon was brought in, volleyball was brought in, uh, snowboard, and you start seeing the youth connect to it, right? So then we started adding uh, more sports. So BMX was added in 2008. The interesting thing for BMX, so here's a, here's a culture that's used to being on its own, now it's thrown into this structure. And they were so deathly afraid of losing their creativity by having structure, right? But structure gave them the ability to get better, right? Because they had resources, they had a community instead of just being off on their own. And something we found out that was interesting, we built this Olympic sized track down in Chula Vista and going into the Olympic selection process, we had three women in all the US that could ride that track. And it's wild, how can only three, right? One female was selected, she went and won a bronze, which was awesome. But having that track and having that high performance setting allowed the younger athletes to have a system to train into. And by the time we got to, you know, the next games, gosh, we probably had 100 girls that could ride that track. So I'm looking at some of these like surf parks, right? And we're gonna see such a huge growth and expanse of the talent. We might have world-class surfers coming out of the Midwest, right?